We're back, everyone. With more wild arms. Weekend. And less maze. Fucking no more of that. Oh, fucking thank God for that. <laughs> God, I hate that. I fucking I hate that place, man. I was dreading it so much, but my big brain actually made it relatively a non-issue. I was able to keep my bearings, which is absolutely fucking surprising for me because I am like the least directionally inclined individual on the planet. What are these fucking kids still doing here? It's dangerous. I saw Iris crying. Did you make her cry? I can't figure you adults out. In my humble opinion, there is no one in all of guy who is capable of defeating you. Damn right. Except for Brad. Brad punched the shit out of me. Like, friggin' by the time I actually built up enough shit to go Lord Blazer, Brad would just punch him like six times in the face with Bower Charge. My brother has been brooding about something lately. I would do anything to help my brother, even if it meant giving up my very life. Whoa there now, little filly. Beat the Trapezoidron. I fucking hate that dungeon so much, and you can now see why. <laughs> yep. It's fucking awful. Flurry Chateau is being repaired. Can't fly her now. When the time comes, she has to take everyone to safety. If such a place exists, that is. We don't want her breaking apart in midair because of all the damage she sustained. Ah, uh, so I have to actually, I have to actually leave the standard way then. God damn it. That is a little annoying. But you know what's not annoying? What? This fucking game. Hmm. Skills are good. Mostly skills are bad, though. Oh. Okay. I 
just mainly wanted to come into not the weapon shop, not the magic shop, but the arms. Meister. Okay, reload it all. Upgrade. Tune to power of blast him and then the rest of the ammo. Fiery wreckage. So, you know the Heimdall Gazo? Yeah. The final dungeon of the first disc? Yes. And how it crashed into the earth? Yes. Where do you think we are now? Oh. We're gonna see. Oh, and Sora shoes. Oh, now we're gonna jump. No? Oh, I was wrong. You were wrong. I'm sad now. <laughs> What's, where's the actual fucking front door in this place? Yeah, this is the remains of the Heimdall Gazo. After it crashed into Filgaia. It's a dungeon that I was moderately looking forward to. For one specific reason. Here's a console panel. Start her up. Corrupted data is something something. And the broken and scrambled data is a detailed information on Odessa's founding sources. Funding sources. Information on the nobility financially supporting Odessa is presented in fragments. Damn. It's too fragmented to figure out who's giving Odessa money. Unfortunate. That's also unfortunate that I let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Walked out the door and I completely forgot there was no floor that was on the side of the door. So much all the time. Yeah. 
Line up, you big shoot mother. I remember seeing this sword before. Calamity silently floats, the mad mountain scream out of lament. The ideal is death, deep-seated delusion doesn't die. Even if the flesh rots, this man's remaining thoughts become a fiery wreckage that stands in one's way. So, uh, you remember Vinsfeld? Yeah. You remember his sword, the Mad Mountains? Yes. <laughs> remaining poltergeist, ghost. You know how Vinsfeld went down with his ship? Oh, what? No. You know how he went down with his ship? Yeah. Now we gotta kill his fucking ghost. Are we Ghostbusters? Does someone call us? No, we are. We are. I mean, Ashley's last name is technically Winchester. He's one of them to Winchester boys. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, come on. I thought that was funny. It was pretty. It was okay. Yeah, Korean. <laughs> this is probably one of the easier optional boss. Never mind. Never mind. Incur my wrath. We're dead. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, bye bye. God, bye bye. Oh, Brad made it. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> Brad made it. Okay. And we lose. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hope you saved. I did. Okay. But <laughs> I'll just nap and go night night. I thought I thought Ghost was one of the easier optional bosses. Nope. You were wrong. Yeah fuck it looks like <laughs> Just thought I'd state it, you know, the obvious. I thought he was one of the easier ones. I thought we could have taken him. God damn. Alright, see so you guys back at the sword that I'm not going to fucking examine. Uh oh, oh my, I almost fucking did it again. Okay, so. We're not gonna mess with Vinsfeld, with the ghost of Vinsfeld's sword. Optional bosses are hard. Oh, so this dungeon does have enemies. It's got Sabertooth Walruses. Blast them. But, yeah, no, they are... They are, in fact, two different groups. That's annoying. Come on! <sighs> Buried alive with the stank. Tim wasn't even defending. How did he take no damage from that? <sighs> Aggravating. Jesus, Brad just punches him for the same amount that Ashley shoots a rocket at them. Vincent's ghost kicked my ass. <laughs> Alright. Let's learn about this. In the broken and scrambled data is detailed information on the Heimdall Gazo. See over there the sword? Don't touch the sword. In the book? Concerning Odessa's war power. Is 
Find on the monitor. Information about on the demon summoning. <clears throat> There's information about Randolph, the magic key, and the conjuring from that man. More information on the demon summoning. The demon summoning experiment used the newly formed special unit as guinea pigs. Information was leaked to Odessa regarding the date and time of the ceremony for the unit. What do you think, dear? I don't know. What do you think about the information we're learning? Ready to be well. Okay. This looks like the wreckage from the Heimdall Gasso. It said you can access Odessa's main databank from here. What do you want to do, Ashley? Odessa's databank. Vincefeld must have meant the Cuber. Cuber Bell when he spoke of an encroaching menace. We might be able to get some information. It could be a waste of time, but it's worth a try. He spoke as if he knew something. He knew something we didn't. It's not unlikely. Anyway, let's look. If nothing comes up, no big deal. Let's split up and research this. Hmm. Even if we research data on, the Ode on Odessa now, it doesn't look like anything good will result. Hey, what kind of joke is this? Let me see. Odessa's membership power, activity strategies. No, the section after that. Funding sources. The organization lacked operational funds, so these are their financial backers. Impossible. Why would that name be listed here? That must be wrong. It has to be. Irving Vold Valeria. Why is his name here? You know, you want to know who, uh, you want to know where Odessa got their money? Uh, oh. Irving gave that. Irving gave Odessa the funding to do what they were doing. Oh no! The Our, entire time. The entire time. And uh. Like, I knew that he was bad because of that cutscene that we saw. Like, he was not such a good person anymore, but like, I mean, he, w he, w he was never a good person, actually. So, due to translation nonsense, a huge major plot point got spoiled that you overlooked. So, uh. you know what happened at the Sword Cathedral with the new special unit where Ashley and everybody got turned into monsters? Right. That was Irving. Irving did uh, Irving, oh, no. Irving did that Irving did that demon summoning. Irving caused all oh. of that to happen. Oh no. So Irving did the demon summoning. Irving gave Odessa the funding. Oh my. Holy. Oh jeez, we're done for. Calm yourself down. Just what is going on? We just found out something horrible over here. This is a as usual. It's pandemonium here. Irving and Rebecca are gone. They're not in the chateau. They left a note, so we know where they went. Understood. We'll hurry back right now. Yeah. Irving is kind of messed up in the head. Like, he's trying to do this for the good of the world, but he's doing it wrong. While you are all getting this, I will be preparing the final plan against the Cooper Belt. To beat the Cooper Belt, which now exists only as a concept, we must cause it to materialize. The trap of Zoodron is useless now. I must take actions. I know, I must take actions. I know will be regrettable. These will be my drastic measures. <clears throat> Whatever people may say, I will sacrifice all for Philgaia. It's true, my actions in this cause have not all been beyond reproach. I do not ask for forgiveness. I will pay whatever price is required. I will now give you your final mission. You will travel to the heart of Philgaia. The heart of Philgaia is the center of the world and the root of this planet's life. If you still believe in me, please grant me this wish. Then, pray for the future of Philgaia. Irving Vold Valeria. What will we do from now on? There is no one to command us, but... We already know what we're fighting for. We have a purpose that can guide us. No one else will lead us. It is time to lead ourselves. That talk is all fine, but I just want to protect what's mine. I will not let anyone ruin the world I live in. 
not without a fight. This last battle looks like it. This last battle looks like it will be our last. Everyone needs to decide for themselves. We will disperse for now. We will meet here again at this time tomorrow. Those with a will to fight can come. Come on, listen. All you have to do is listen. I might be the only one without superior officers, but in return, I've been blessed with the best allies. It must be hard for you. You're stuck listening to me babble. When he's with you, Charles seems so happy. Do you think so? Yes, I can, I can tell because we're always together. I owe a lot to you. This one was saved from the brink of death because of you and the villagers. I can tell because we're always together. Charles is always with Mr. I can tell. You don't have to say a word. I've got something valuable I've been keeping for this one. I survive all battles because of it. It doesn't matter where I am. I am always with this one. We're always together. There's something I've wanted to ask you. That day, Mr. was arrested. I was told it was because he was a hero. Is a hero something bad? Hmm, I wonder. One thing I do know, I'm not a hero. I wasn't able to become a hero. It caused all kinds of trouble. That's my own fault. Maple is shaking with fear. How long are these conditions going to last? It'll be over soon. I'll make sure it'll be over. It's the only thing I can do now to thank this guy. <laughs> you flew out of here, then you just came back without any warning. What? Logan! You always, always are so indecisive. I didn't come back here to see you. It's no big deal. Well, that's true, but... Um, uh, what? I've decided to take the Kettle Test. Wow, really? That that really difficult elite class? Well, sort of. You've got a rotten personality, but you sure know how to study. Uh, how about our taking the test together? Kettle, this is the classroom sis sat in. That's it, I've got it. As a way to get close to your sis, your dream girl, you need to take the test. If you insist, I'll look at your late homework. I'm so in awe of you, sis. But I am Lilka Eleniac. I'm not your sis. I have something I want to do in order to do that. Maybe I'll try taking the test, too. Yeah, let's. I'm sure that'd be best. Well, now... You're going already? It's too early. I thought we'd go check the test area together now. What is it? I've always wondered why you always seem to pick fights with me. It's not that you like me or anything, is it? Uh, what? Who would like Lilka? That's true, too. But remember, someday I'll be a mighty fine woman. I'll be sure to give you the honor of being dumped by me then. Damn, Lilka, spitting facts. You, you're making fun of me! Damn, Milka just spitting. Lilka! Hey, I'm stuck with cleaning. I'm stuck with the cleaning you're supposed to be doing. Thanks. When it's all over and we come back here, I'll help you with your cleaning. Where? The Astronomical Observatory. That's a rough run. Better take back what I just said. You're the one who volunteered. I'm holding you to it. I'm going to get you to help me clean the Astronomical Observatory. <laughs> I 
Boy, haven't seen the sky in a long time. Yeah. It's different from having something from fun disappear. I never imagined that having something so familiar disappear would make me feel so lonely. Yeah. I've made up my mind. I'm going to bring the sky back to Felgaia. I'm going to show you the sun once again. I promise you. Then let's shake on it. Give me your left hand. Let's meet here again. Prasea. When someone you want nearby leaves, it makes you feel lonely. <laughs> Even if the sky disappears, I still have sunshine. This here is a special secret sunball. Give me your left hand and promise me again. Blood can be inherited, but can heroism be inherited as well? Blood is a red bond that ties you to the past. Invisible bonds become chains which bind one over and over again. It's a person's karma, fate, and yet to be known, and the yet to be known future. Gasping at the suffering, the wailing seeks the dark, yet rest is full of traps. But if today is here for tomorrow, vacillating in the blood is karma's reward of the hero. Or, Irving boldly becomes a needle which dives under, heading for the heart. <laughs> Originally, Felkaya was... Yep. Destined to be the ruler of the top of the ecosystem. Yet, they came charging in one by one without permission. Then later gave no reason. That's criminal. Yep. Now is the time for a true ruler, a Crimson Noble. Hey, what's the top of the ecosystem? You don't know? That's the problem with the uneducated. It means he's all alone, right? Exactly. The true rulers, Crimson Nobles, know solitude intimately. That must be very lonely. What are you talking about? <laughs> People like to have friends around. I'm used to things like that. Think about it. I'm the only Crimson Noble left. No one's left who can share those hours with me. Then, I could be your friend. Well, if a Crimson Noble bites and sucks my blood, can I share those hours with you? If that's the case, then go for it. I'll be your first... I'll be your, uh, first friend. Damn, Bruce knows how to friend it up. You're a hopeless idiot. Think about it. Your resignation from humanity means you could lose a lot. Even so, if I did this, I'd be able to be with you forever, right? Oh, stop it. Stop it. I have no interest in children like you. When you hit those pudgy middle years, I might just consider it. Really? Really and truly? All right, tomorrow I will become middle-aged. You aren't dull, that's for sure. Maybe if I were with you, I might not be so lonely after all. Yeah! Bruce become friend. Did something happen? Sorry, I guess I should say something. It's alright, you don't have to force yourself to say anything. But... But... If Ashley doesn't talk, I have a feeling I'll end up babbling. Go ahead. Yeah, but I... I don't think I'll be able to express my feelings very well. If I put it into words, I might end up hurting Ashley again. Iris. In my heart, I want to say something different. But when I put it into words, I always say something very different. I hate how feelings turn into different words when they leave the body. I've always wished there were more direct ways to express my feelings. But if I do this, see, you can sense my feelings, right? The warmth... The weight and the feelings. I'm so glad I have a body to convey it all. Can't show that for the kids.
Were you the one who wanted to fight together? So why are you keeping quiet and fighting alone, Irving? And I wanted to get here first, too. Not this time, I guess. Lilka. Everyone is thinking the same thing. <laughs> we all want to hear from Irving before we decide. You weren't thinking of going alone, were you? Hmm, they're all crazy. Everyone. This isn't all of us. Everyone, everyone, he came back! Do you know what it's like outside? The encroachment has gone much farther since yesterday. It's much more dangerous now. So, now there is danger wherever we go. Let's go, Ashley. You've lost, Ashley. Everyone. Let's go, then. We will finish everything once and for all. Okay. So, we have three things we're going to complete at this very second. Before we end the video. Ashley, welcome back. Stone Drago starts to give off a silent white light. What the? What's this light? Ashley, what's going on? Oh! <laughs> Iris, this is your universe, right? It's you, yourself, right? Iris. I had wished days like this would last forever. I never doubted that days like this would continue. Ashley and I are here. The plain old everyday world is still here. And ordinary daily life is going to continue ordinary forever. Don't come here. Don't destroy eternity. I'm afraid. I've had enough. To wound and be wounded. How can something so scary happen on a regular basis? I just want to be with Ashley. Fighting is to protect eternity and for the time when I don't from when I didn't know Ashley. For nothing to change, for everything to stay as the eternity from before. Is that what Iris hopes for? Do you want to believe that eternity is when nothing changes? Nothing changing. I don't think that such a thing exists. Times change and evolve. We are forever encountering moments of continual change. This could cause despair or it could lead to a different response. It's possible to want to see how the world turns out, to see what the future will bring. That's what I believe. Hope? Yes. The power to wish for tomorrow. The power to wish for a day you have not yet seen. I wonder if I have that power. Of course you do, but you won't find it in eternity. You're right. I understand it now. Ashley taught me. me my wanting to be with Ashley is not in eternity. Forever, for sure, and evermore. From now on, we'll always be together. That's right. Hope is on the other side of this moment, far away from eternity. My wish is... My hope is always for the future. Desire leads to strength and reaches me as light. The long, extinct desire has been awakened by one who remembers hope. Stop me if you seek the future. When dark clouds block tomorrow, my power will become a westerly wind to pierce and dispel it. I am Zephyr, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts in F and Felgaia. Hope's light will become the power to expand the future. All 
Alright. Alright, one down, two to go. Yeah, we collected all those super, super statues and those super secret, super mega secret areas in the, uh, the sacrificial altar. So now, it's time to release the power sealed within. You ready for power releasing? Hello? Hello? Power releasing? Also, new overworld music. The final overworld track change. Oh, and it's a good one, too. Just gonna jam out to this for a, bit, for a few seconds. place we want to go is here. <clears throat> What's happening? Why am I so excited and nervous and even more excited but all familiar too? I felt the same way when the medium began to shine. I think yes, that's it, that yes, but wait. The stone goddess begins to give off a soft white light. What is it? Is it the medium? No. I don't know either. It doesn't feel bad though. Why? I feel really happy just like this. Me too. Is this really? This is so embarrassing, but... But... Is it really? Could it be? When I think about Tim, my chest constricts. It's quite painful. Me too, when I think of Prisea. Could it be... Could it really be? It can't be, but it makes me so happy. Welcome back. <laughs> I was going to say I was going to wait for this to be done. <laughs> it scares me a little. I'm beginning to feel like Tim is all I can think about. It worries me to be like that. But there's another me who is happy that I am like this. It's as if there are two of me. Same for me. When I'm with Persea, I feel calm and relieved, while at the same time I'm wildly excited. I think the present... I think the present, the time I now spend with Persea is... An, is important time for me. Yes! Me too. I feel like the present time I spend with Tim too. Prisea, I want to protect you from all hardship and pain. It's because you are the most important woman, person, to me. Thank you. My desire to protect you is gradually making me stronger. I've learned that thinking of someone other than myself is very powerful. I mean, I've become this strong all because of Prisea. To be honest, I don't want to fight, but in order to protect what I have now, I will fight. Tim. I wonder if this is what it means to like someone. I feel so warm. I'll fight to protect you. My heart must be stronger. The desire leads to strength and reaches me as affection. The long extinct desire has been reawakened by the one who hasn't forgotten love. If what you desire is each other's hearts, you'd best, you'd best stop me. When hardship confronts you two, my power will become a ceaseless tie that will have you rid it all. I am Raftina, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts in Gaia. Love's embrace will become a gentle, enveloping strength. Okay, that's two down, one to go. So I wonder if this will be the big reveal that I think. Like, I honestly can't remember if this is the, uh, like, if what I'm thinking is actually the truth or not.
The light. It's expanding. Wow. Dumbfounded silence. <laughs> Stone Lion starts to give off a silent white light. What could that light be? Charles? A hero should be the symbol of how to control one's power. I am beginning to understand your true feelings. No. Strictly speaking, you just might reach a different conclusion. A different conclusion? <laughs> yes. We don't have a need for heroes anymore. That's what I believe now. Are you saying heroes are unnecessary? That's not really what I meant. A hero isn't bestowed on you, nor can they be relied on, nor do they have shape. But a hero exists in the hearts of anyone who tries to accomplish something. That's essentially when, what you meant when you said you should be when you said a hero should be a symbol. Hmm? If that's what you think, it must be right. For you to say that, you, the one who knows me best, means a hero. Isn't it just a convenient, powerful being that always saves people from serious danger? A hero's symbolic role is to show everyone that they possess within themselves similar powers. Another way of putting it is courage. And your current team members taught you this? Yes, they made it clear to me. They continued to fight of their own free will and the strength rather than rely on the hero of Slayheim. They may not realize this, but they have become heroes themselves. And when this is repeated by others, then heroes really will no longer be necessary. I'm glad I left things in your hands. You're my hero. A hero embodies the will to show courage. They personify bravery. Shake off doubts and step forward. Follow the road indicated with the spiritual strength to never lose. Desire leads to a strength and reaches me as a guidance. The long extinct desire has been reawakened by the one who hasn't forgotten courage. What you desire is strength of heart, and you best stop me. When confusion clouds your path, my power becomes the sword to crush the universe and solve the problem. I am Justine, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts and Philgaia. The sword of courage will make the heart full of strength. Brad, where are you? Where? So, I'm a little actual confused now. Sorry, but Charles hasn't recovered yet. I'm so ashamed I can't do anything for you even though you protected our village. So, I'm not sure if or when. I don't even know if I'm right on this or not now. But, I could have swore that the guy in the wheelchair was the actual Brad Evans and our Brad Evans is the name we is the name we gave him. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I could have swore that was the case because Brad Evans is the quote unquote me and the quote unquote him. He never during that whole cutscene he never said Charles's name. Yeah. And he never said his name was Brad until the very end. Right. So yeah, like, I was going to say, like, I, I thought that, I that would have been swore, the spoiler. I could have swore Brad, our Brad, took his name so that Brad didn't get thrown away into the prison as the quote-unquote hero. Right, right. Who knows? Because that's, because in the wheelchair, the wheelchair guy initially said his name was Brad Evans. Right, right. Like, friggin' so. And I think the ID card and whatever was what he was holding on to is his name. Is that he was holding on to what got him through everything. Is what he meant when he said he was always with him because he was using his name. So, I don't know if and when that's ever said. I could just be throwing shit out that has just not true at all. But part of me from the way back remembers that being a fairly big reveal at some point. 
And I thought the cutscene with the courage was the courage of Brad to accept that he's not Brad. But the courage to be the person he actually is. But clearly, I am... I'm fucking way off. So yeah. All right. All right. So we have all the high guardians now. All the high mediums and everything. So until next time, everybody. Until next time. We got a few things left to do. I mean, Okay. 